So I'm assuming that things have rolled on, but probably productivity has been down um, in relation to current projects. Is that a fair summation, Jeremy? Yeah, I think that's that's a fair sort of statement. We've got um, similar sort of arrangements. So there's been um, a number of services which have been stopped, but construction doesn't fall into that category. It's been deemed essential by the government. Um, so people are still able to go on site, get the work done. Um, with that said, the government's implemented measures to ensure that adequate social distancing and um, healthcare measures are put in place. So uh, things like appropriate sanitization before you're um, entering the work site, um, temperature screening, um, making sure that there's enough space between people um, on the job sites. Um, I think one of the differences here compared to Australia is the workforce that's actually in place on most of the construction sites. So whereas Australia, you, you'd probably have a lot of smaller subcontractors um, doing the works. Uh, in Dubai, typically what will happen is the main contractor will have a quite a large workforce um, and they'll provide labour camp accommodation for that workforce. So the social distancing measures don't just stop on site, they'll continue to um, be required to provide um, adequate screen, uh, screening and social distancing for the workers that they're busing in and out of site as well, um, to make sure there's enough space on the buses, that they're wearing masks, that they're checked, um, the temperature is checked before they get on and off the bus. And then also while they're in their labour camps that they've got sufficient spaces between um, their, living, uh, their living quarters. So um, slight difference there. 